Hello everyone, this is Nilima from Puna Zero Waste and today I bring to you final and the fourth episode of this bioenzyme series that we had started. This is one episode that is going to be very interesting hopefully because some people have already messaged me saying they are very eagerly waiting for these uh, episodes to come to this final one. So today in this final episode we are going to talk about different peels or different kinds of green waste that you can use and successfully make good kinds of bioenzymes. I will also talk about each peel's bioenzyme as well as their uses. So let's start with our very own favorite lemon peels. Now when I say lemon peels which you can use certainly for making bioenzyme, it is not just the lemon peels that I'm talking. It's about all kinds of citrus fruits that you can um, try making bioenzyme from. I have been very successfully able to make lemon peels bioenzyme, oranges uh, peels bioenzyme, a sweet lime peels bioenzyme and my next one is going to be pineapple peels bioenzyme. So if we put this lemon bowl of lemon into a citrus peels category, we already have lemon, orange, uh, sweet lime and pineapples. So we have four peels, different kinds of peels which can actually make very good bioenzyme. For any kind of citrus peels that you use to make a bioenzyme, the best use is as a room freshener, as a mopping solution and any kinds of surface cleaning that you want to uh, do in your house. So citrus peels, they not only leave a very lovely smell, a lingering one at the end of the cleaning process, but they also are superb uh, in uh, being a great disinfectant uh, as far as cleaning through these bioenzymes is concerned. Number one uh, is citrus peels, any kinds of citrus peels, we already have talked about six, uh, four of them, sorry. And the others, the very obvious one will come to neem. Now neem is one which is very, very native to our country and we find uh, neem trees in crores and crores of numbers. Uh, on our land. So neem leaves are the one on a second best option. I wouldn't say second best option, second great variety that we would talk uh, in creating a good bioenzyme. Now the neem everybody knows has great antifungal and disinfectant insecticide properties. So neem bioenzyme works great for using as pesticide for plants. I also use it, the, the neem bioenzyme, I also use it to spray at the end of the day in my kitchen sink, under the sink to avoid all the pests and insects that might come out in the night and that also includes cockroaches. It has worked very well for me. So spray, uh, you can dilute the neem bioenzyme in water and keep it ready in a spray bottle and spray it at the end of the day when the, uh, the house is, you know, shutting down for the night. You just spray it under the sink spaces and spaces where you feel there are some insects coming out during the night. Now comes a very good variety which I have successfully been able to make great bio, uh, kinds of bioenzyme from are the flowers. So flower petals are another great choice to make a bioenzyme. Now let's talk about two great um, very commonly found uh, flower petals that uh, we can very easily make bioenzyme from. First one is the rose petals. So uh, we would suggest you uh, take a um, local rose that is they call desi gulab. Uh, so try to get the ro local rose, uh, locally grown rose petals and use them for puja or for your decoration or any kind uh, of other purposes in your house. And then do not throw away the peels or don't even compose them, you know. So for a change, try these peels and make a nice bioenzyme out of them. Uh, rose petals or any kinds of flower petals, I would suggest two things. Always, uh, you know, uh, separate the flowers, uh, the petals from the flower base and use the petals, measure them in the bowls as far as uh, the measuring ratio is concerned and then use the petals to use the, to make the bioenzyme. Now for rose, make sure that you get rid of these stems, 
uh, throw them in the compost, nothing goes to the dustbin. So um, these kinds of uh, these stems that you find in rose or any other flower should be uh, sent to the compost and use only the petals for making the bioenzyme. Similarly, okay, let's go talk about the rose bioenzyme usage. Best for the room freshener, I also use it as surface cleaner because it also leaves a great uh, uh, smell, a uh, great fragrance, lingering one. And I also use it as a fabric softener uh, to be used in the second round of my washing machine load for um, while washing the clothes. So it, gray, it is a great fabric softener and a nice uh, fragrance also for the fabrics. Similarly, you can use marigold. This is very commonly found. So marigold petals, again, you have to separate the petals from the base of the flower. And um, also when, when, you, when you're left with these green, uh, green waste, it goes to the compost. So marigold has a, is, is a great disinfectant. It is a great pesticide. It's a great insecticide. So not just for the surface cleaning or even for a fabric softener that you may use the marigold bioenzyme but also make sure you use it as a pesticide for your plants you can spray dilute it in the water and spray it on the leaves or on the upper layer even spray it on the soil for the plants in your house plants in your garden it works great as a pesticide now comes the two last two um, green waste that i'm talking about they both will sound very unusual to you this is one which I have been able to successfully try again and that is a combination of green chilies and garlic peels. So as you can see garlic pods are peeled and don't throw away the peels to the compost bin. Save them, keep them, if this, since they are dry you can save them in any container and the green chilies, the very hot ones. So, uh, so take these two in an equal proportion and then measure three three measurements of uh, according to the container you're using to make the uh, green chilies and garlic bioenzyme now the only restriction with this one is you better use the green chilies and garlic bioenzyme only for one purpose and that is for your pest as a pesticide for your plants you please avoid uh, using this bioenzyme for any other purpose or any cleaning purposes in your house so this is strictly used only as a pesticide for your plants but then it's the one of the best ones you can find and the best organic uh, pesticide you can find in your house for your home plants last but not the least now this is going to be my next project i'm going to make it today after i finish making a video on uh, the bio for the bioenzyme series and i have saved as you can see these are elaichi cardamom peels so um, as most of the indian homes will make tea and use cardamom in ma while making a tea uh, i have saved all the peels there's a jar full of peels and i'm going to make a bioenzyme from the cardamom peels this is going to be very very interesting because i have read somewhere during my research on bioenzyme that the cardamom peels is not just a great room freshener but it also can be made into an edible bioenzyme so that's going to be my next project how and why can we use and uh, uh, the bioenzymes in the edible form so elaichi as we call it cardamom peels are the best uh, option to make a nice bioenzyme from it so this is going to be my new project and I'm going to post you um, after I make this one. So today, before we conclude, let's count how many peels that we are able to identify to make great bioenzymes from them. Citrus peels, as you saw, ne uh, the lemon peels, uh, orange peels, sweet lime and pineapple. These are four great ones. So we already have four names under the peels that can be used for making bioenzyme. Fifth and sixth are the flower petals. So I have used uh, rose petals and marigold petals. So that makes the six uh, options we have. Seventh is the neem that we have talked already about. Seven is neem. Eighth is the green chilies and the garlic pod peels that we will have, but only use it as plant pesticide. 
and ninth which can turn into an edible bioenzyme is the cardamom peels that we are going to use hope you like this tiny little series of four episodes that i have created and hope it has been quite a useful one for you kindly post all your comments under all these videos i would be very happy to receive questions from you 